In late summer, even city gardens are lush and leafy and ripe with tomatoes and basil and amaranth. But once all the crops have been picked and eaten and the last of the garden's plants yanked up and taken to the compost pile, there's still lots of work to do. Here at the Battery Urban Farm in Lower Manhattan, Denise and her daughter Darby are getting the PS3 garden ready for winter. They want to make sure that all the nutrients that were taken out of the soil by vegetables they grow get put back into the soil. That way, next year's crops will grow healthy and strong and rich in vitamins. So they're going to grow something called a cover crop. First, Denise and Darby rake up old weeds that have shot up since they cleared the soil a few weeks ago. Then they water to make the soil firm. What seeds do you have? Then they strew seeds. They're using oats and peas for their cover crop. Peas. And oats and peas work really nicely as a cover crop because they grow quickly. They are cool weather loving plants. And when it, by the time it starts to get really cold and the snow comes and the wind comes, these oats and peas will sprout and set down their roots and provide a lovely winter blanket for our raised bed here. When the seeds sprout, they'll release a mineral called nitrogen, which all plants need to grow, almost as much as they need carbon and oxygen. The sprouts will also keep more weeds from growing here and hold the soil together with their roots so it doesn't blow away in the winter winds. After they scatter the seeds, Denise and Darby cover them with fabric, so no little animals will gobble them up. Now the garden is ready for a long winter's rest. See you next spring.